What up, what up, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another 9 of 15 online gameplay, and today we are going up against my Irish friend Jimmy McQuaid, and uh, should be a nice interesting gameplay, I am rolling with the Patriots, he is going with the Detroit Lions, and of course when you see them Lions, you already know that he's going to try to hit you with the bush, that's the worst thing possible whenever you go up against the Lions, just to have that bush all up in your face, and then you got Calvin Johnson you kind of have to worry about, right, kind of have the game plan for that man just a little bit, um, of course using the Patriots, you got Tom Brady, Tom Terrific, uh, I always say this every time, uh, it usually sparks a little debate, but in my opinion, the number one greatest quarterback of all time, and uh, that's my opinion, so don't hate me if you disagree. Um, if you do agree, then uh, I, I know why you do agree. If you disagree, I, I can understand why. There's a lot of good quarterbacks in the NFL in the history of the National Football League since the beginning of time. But anyways, right here, first drop, we're we hitting this man. Oh, look at the pancakes, though. We're hitting this man with strong power a little bit. We ended up scoring a touchdown. And, uh, yeah, he, he did not like the strong power, not at all. Um, that That is one thing I wish that the Raiders book had was power ace, single back uh, ace out of a uh, – out of pistol, but they do not see the Chiefs playbook is really, 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 really good. Um, I started, as you guys know, I ran Kansas City last year, so I decided to, you know, take a look at it this year. You know, whenever uh, you you get real familiar with the playbook, you kind of want to see if they have the same type of plays uh, that they did the previous year, and they do. They still have empty cheap. They still have uh, quad bunch. They still have you know five wide, which is deadly. But this year they added. And single back, look at this punt on a six yard line, I believe, right? On the three, never mind. Um, they added single back ace, which they did not have last year. So, uh, they, you mix in some strong power, whatever, like that book is, look at Gronk, rumbling, bumbling, stumbling forward though. Um, so Gronk, I mean, not Gronk, uh, the Kansas City Chiefs playbook is a really, really, really good playbook. If Raiders had that formation, easily best playbook in the game, in my opinion, easily. But they, unfortunately, they don't. But, uh, one thing which is uh, biblical about today, and I mean biblical, I mean astronomically biblical, is the fact that it's Sunday, and we woke up, and we're going to watch football all day today. I'm excited. Um, as you guys don't know, uh, we do a 24-hour live stream right there. Don't test the user. He is so dis. Respectful. Okay, I kind of wanted to <coughs> hold that for longer than I could, but I was running out of air. I need oxygen, so I had to end it. Um, oh, yeah, don't test the user. Um, so, um, every 25 new subscribers we get on Twitch, we celebrate with the 24 hour live stream. And, uh, we, we hit that for, uh, four weeks in a row. And this week we, uh, did not. So, uh, no 24 hour stream from Saturday into Sunday. So, uh, it was nice kind of, you know, taking, um, taking a nice little non 24 hour stream break. Cause like I said, we did 24 hour streams four Saturdays in a row. So it was definitely nice to, um, you know, wake up on Sunday, get ready for football. As I'm doing this commentary, it's 11.30 a.m., so um, we got um, a lot of football coming today, and I'm really excited. Finally, I'm going to get to watch some. Usually, uh, I'll end. I did, out of the four 24-hour streams I did, uh, I completed one of them. Or was it two? Might have been two. I'm not sure. But I did minimum at least 20 hours for all of them. So I would go to sleep like at 6 or like 10 a.m. or noon or something like that. And, oh, no, no, I completed two of them. I completed two of them. And I would uh, not wake up until like Sunday night night when all football is over. So I'm excited for football. This is going to be the first week where like at 1 p.m. I'm up. I'm watch football all day today. I, I, and I don't have a fantasy team. I know. I know. It's EA for. I blame EA because I was fortunate enough to get mad in early this year. Um, I got it, I want to say, like a full week before the game came out. And I, all I did was play Madden. Madden, 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 Madden. I wasn't thinking about anything else. Just Madden. All I did was play Madden. And uh, I, I, not, I didn't even get a chance to even log in and do a fantasy team because all my free time went direct directly to Madden. And I don't even have a fantasy team. So, of course, when you have a fantasy team, you're definitely more into football because you're more worried about stats and you see who's doing what. And, um, yeah, that's not me this year, which which sucks. But, nonetheless, man, our Niners are 2-2. Two and two. We beat the Eagles last year. And like, What am I talking about? We beat the Eagles last week. So, hopefully, I believe we played. Is it the Chiefs today? I'm not sure. 
Uh, I don't know too much anything about football. Uh, I'm not going to lie, because I haven't been watching it. This is going to be my first week watching football, so I'm excited. But anyways, this game, we're up 14-7, to and uh, we are uh, have the ball. We have possession right here, so we're still running the ball. You know, running is working, so why not, you know, continue doing it? But right there, kind of get shoved right into me. It's like, dang it, now i got to rely on my defense, man. You never want to rely on GS's defense. In the history of historyism, one thing you know about Madden, you don't want to rely on GS's defense. So I'm a little worried right here. <laughs> right here, does a nice little job in the flats right there. Uh, he, he's got a long way to go, though. So uh, hopefully we can just... Oh! <laughs> Look at McCourty bail. Whoop! Look at McCourty bailing us out, though. I will take it. Puss is in field goal range. That right there should give us at least a two-possession game. Uh, right here, quick little pass. Whoop! whoop! Quick little pass. Woo! It's a net, son. Quick little pass to Dobson. We actually get in the end zone. So uh, now we have a, a full two score lead, and he only has two timeouts. So at some point, if he does score, he's going to need a onside kick in order for him to have a chance. Uh, right there, throws in the coverage, but we end up dropping nets right here. Uh, it's right over the middle. Nice little um, drag route. He ends up finding. Of course, he's no huddling, trying to get you know uh, moving as you know bestly as he can. Bestly is that a word? Bestly, you guys know what I mean. As best as possible, goes up top, but we end up swatting that, denying that quicker than the Puerto Rican try to get it alone. Another little drag route, but we'll give him that. You know, uh, we would definitely give him them little drags as long as we don't give up anything big. Uh, that's that's perfectly fine. Right here, fourth down. This right could be game if he doesn't get it, but he just picks up the first down, still keeping him alive. It's him. Who's gonna? Woo, woo. Jones ends up, was that Jones who created the second, then got the fumble recovery? I'm not sure. But uh, it wasn't a fumble. It turned out to be an incomplete pass. But the next pass, that wasn't an incomplete pass. I was wide open. Thank you, baby. It looks like we could go. Oh, the, oh, as we scamper on into the end zone. What was a close game at one point where he had an opportunity to tie. McCourty completely changed the game. And uh, that's all I hope for on defense. Just one mistake. And, um, like I said, that right there, it, it literally changed everything about the game. You know, um, that one pick, and we were able to score after that because we already started in great position. And then the next next possession, obviously, he has to force things to try and get downfield quickly. And we end up getting another uh, interception, which turned into a pick six. So, uh, McCourty, definitely uh, the MVP. Definitely won us that game. That's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today. I'm going to try to give you guys two G-Stroke videos because um, we didn't do any yesterday because we uploaded the draft. Which the comment section is freaking hilarious. Have me roll. You guys are so crazy. <laughs> but I'm going to try my best to give you two G strokes today. It's your boy GS, and I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.